Well, we got yet more evidence proving that the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby is copying the Nazis and the Communists uh, and following their 2,000-year tradition of being the masters and professionals of a practice known as cancel culture, i.e. centering free speech when you don't agree with it. This uh, is just one of many examples that can be cited of the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby just copying their 2,000-year tradition, or sorry, I mean uh, continuing it on, of uh, basically silencing anyone they don't agree with, which also goes into the hypocrisy of where they'll cite free speech when they do agree with it. I've covered that in other videos, but here's one. And, and by the way, too, uh, the website, whenever I read from an article, uh, read an article from a website, this is not an endorsement of the website, even the views of the website. And in this case, you have Electronic Antifada, which is basically pro-Palestinian. Now, I've already clarified my stance on Israel, that I support racial Israel, their right to be physically in that land. Okay, I don't support, see, when I criticize Jews, I'm talking about religious Jews, not racial Israel. Okay, Judaism and being of, of racial Israel are two different things, plain and simple. When I talk about, when I talk smack about Jews, I'm referring to religious Jews. Same thing when I talk smack about Muslims, I'm not, I'm not you know, trash talking Arabs. I'm talking about Muslims as a religion. Two different things there, but of course, people are, people are going to accuse you of, of whatever when they want to try to get a point. When they, want to have, when they have an agenda to push, I'll put it that way. But this is one such example. Uh, Israel lobby smeared Palestinian American professor, then got him fired. And by the way, too, you say, oh, it's about Israel lobby. Yeah, but when you look at the, the motive behind this Israel lobby, it's basically Talmudic Judeo-Satanism, okay? And by the way, too, it's pushing a narrative of unquestioning just Israel is never wrong in, what's, in anything they do. Scripturally speaking, Israel, if racial Israel has the right to be in that land, but scripturally speaking, they're, they're anything but perfect. In fact, they're the furthest thing from being perfect, hence the time of Jacob's trouble, why God has to judge them for seven years, okay? But remember, this is a criticism of religious religious Jews. Okay, so if you're going to call me a racist and anti-Semite, you're a liar, plain and simple. You're a false accuser. That's a sin. But continuing in the article, it says a Palestinian American teacher is planning to sue a Pennsylvania university after the Israel lobby groups pressured the institution to fire him. After being fired from another college months later, he believes he is now blacklisted from teaching. Yeah, and, and regardless of, of whether or not I agree with them, you know, free speech is not just something you agree with. But that's the problem with the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby is it's only free speech when they agree with it. If it's not, well, then they're going to turn to full-on Nazis and communists and cancel culture vultures, as I like calling it. Continuing on the article. Karim Tanius fought for two years as a professor of business uh, on tenure track Kalam Rat, whatever. This is this private school. He regularly criticized Israel and the ideology of Zionism on his per personal Twitter account. Uh, but I didn't preach this at the school. I didn't even talk about it. He told the electronic anti Antifada, whoever you say that, uh, he says he's consistently received high evaluations from his students and was known for making material engaging and accessible. However, the Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia and the Jewish Community Relations Council sent letters to the administration last year seeking uh, to censure Tanois and have him fired over personal tweets. The Israeli, Israel lobby groups, such as Jewish Federations of North America and its local chapters, have been prominent in, uh, have been prominent forces in the push to shut down criticism of Israel on campus. They'd probably have to shut down uh, the Bible, the, the, the Word of God, because the even in the Old Testament, Israel is constantly getting rebuked for their wickedness. So you're going to have to probably shut down any kind of Bible preacher who goes on there. But uh, it says it in the article, in a major force behind the promotion of the IHRA's highly controversial definition of anti-Semitism, which conflates Israel, sorry, criticism of Israel on the one hand with anti-Jewish bigotry on the other, the IHRA, IHRA definition has become the Israel lobby's key weapon in North America and Europe to enforce censorship about Israel's crimes against the Palestinians. And, you know, like I said, I support racial Israel, their right to be physically in that land. That's pretty much it. I don't support the Israeli government, nor do I support a lot of the policies they do. And yes, Israel is guilty of some war crimes. That, that may make some people upset, even among the, the what would be called Christian Zionist crowd, but that's just the blunt truth. And again, scripturally speaking, Israel is the furthest thing from perfect. So anyway... That's probably going to make some people upset, but quite frankly, the truth is the truth no matter what, who's offended by it. Anyway, continuing on in the article. The Federation demanded that Tanius face, should face so consequences, it's called free speech, there are, there are no consequences, for spreading anti-Semitic and anti-Israel commentary and making posts in support of the destruction of the state of Israel, according to a recent article in the Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, meanwhile, a Twitter account and website with a history of relentlessly harassing Palestinians and other advocates for Palestinian rights began tweeting him. The blacklisting group StopAntiSemitism.org named him last July as Anti-Semite of the Week. That was, that's hilarious. The fun little label they put on you. 
Uh, a month before he was fired, the website encouraged the website encouraged the followers to email the university and submit an ethnic discrimination complaint for criticizing a foreign nation as apparently as ethnic discrimination. Now, apparently, anyway. Uh, during the meeting, he, the, uh, semester, before the semester started, the administration seemed to believe the Israel lobby group's claims, but he, but he claimed that his twits, tweets in defense of Palestinian liberation are not hate speech. It's all political speech, and what you can't call political speech is hate speech. Nonetheless, the college terminated him in August. So now they're following a lawsuit on the grounds that it was basically, it, it basically the truth of the fact that it violated his First Amendment rights. You know, since when is it a crime to criticize a foreign nation in America? You know, and that's, the, that's kind of the problem too, is that uh, the Talmudic Jewish lobby is in many ways are worse than the Muslims when it comes to censorship and cancel culture. Because a lot of times the Muslims will make threats, but they won't actually, you know, a lot of times they're not successful. The Talmudic Jewish lobby is very successful at shutting down speech they don't like. You know, th I will come out and say that. That is very true. Uh, the Talmudic Jewish lobby poses a bigger threat to freedom of speech than I'd say the Muslims and the Hindus combined. Because they have, they, they, instead of just threatening you to kill, instead of threatening to basically cut your head off like the Muslims will do, they'll just basically harass your employers, harass, you know, pretty much your landlords, they'll harass, uh, you know, the place you, you go to school at, and just harass them and harass them and harass them until they basically kick you out. That, that's the big difference. So they're much more of a threat to freedom of speech due to how successful they are at basically Nazi-style censorship of speech they don't like. And, 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 you know, they used to be pretty violent back in the days of the Apostles in the Book of Acts, but now they just basically resort to, like, obsessive internet emails and everything else. Anyway, it just keeps proving the point that the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby is a basically a cancel culture, or cancel culture professionals, and just stuff like this keeps proving my point. So anyway, Judaism is a false religion, plain and simple, and I'm going to keep criticizing it, and if someone doesn't like that, that's not my problem. Anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.